there YouTube, how's it going today? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today I am here to discuss what is a very serious topic in the mommy world. When you have your first baby, one of the big questions you're going to ask yourself is how am I going to get around and run errands out and about with my delicate tiny little human being? Well I have an answer for you, there's options. My first instinct when I had this question was I need a stroller. After some time, there was some holes, some gaps that the stroller could not fill, and so I ended up purchasing a baby carrier. Baby wearing and having a stroller are both things I have lots and lots of experience in. I love baby wearing, I love strollers. And I think it's important to be objective and to think about the advantages and disadvantages of both forms of baby transport, because there are limitations with each of them. This video is not sponsored, I just really love Babies, baby wearing, baby stuff, baby pushing. It's what makes my clock tick. We're going to do a head to head strollers versus baby wearing, and I'm going to use my Bugaboo B5 against my Tula Toddler Carrier. Alright, these are both high end baby items, and I think it's a fair comparison to make, as neither of them have anything that. I don't like. So these are two items I really, really like, and I want to see which has the advantage over the other. So without further ado, let's begin. Number one, ease of use. When you have a baby and you're ready to go and you want to just get out, popping them into a stroller and clicking them in, simple, straightforward. Some strollers are a little hard to open, but you know what you're in for. You've got to open the stroller, you can put the baby in, you're going to go out for a walk. With a baby carrier, there is some learning to be had. My sister-in-law, my brother, and my cousin got into baby wearing, but all of them required practice with teddy bears. What I want to mention is, if you're going to baby wear, it will take some practice, and you'll need to build some confidence, because wrapping babies, even just strapping them in, as you see me doing with my toddler, Tula, it requires a little bit of practice and coordination, and you really don't want to drop your baby. So I definitely recommend you practice and watch some internet videos showing you how to get your baby in place. So the point for category number one goes to the stroller just because easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no fuss, no muss, no hassle. Category number two, portability. This one's easy. All you have to do with your baby carrier is roll it into a ball and stuff it in your purse and you've got it no matter what. You're out and about, you're going for a drive, just pull it out of your purse, you're ready to go to the park. Stroller, on the other hand, requires a little more planning, right? You need to pack your stroller. You need to make sure it's not too big to fit in your car. Or if you want to maybe do some grocery shopping, you need to make sure there's room in your trunk for the stroller and the groceries. For portability, the point is going to go to baby wearing just because it is ridiculously simple and easily easy and it's not hard to have it with you at all times. With the stroller, of course, it's a little more planning. Number three. Multitasking! As you know, busy moms have a lot to do in a day. We need to keep things clean, keep the dishes done, keep the laundry organized, change diapers, blah 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 blah. There's a lot to do to keep things running smoothly. When you have a small baby, it seems impossible because this little tiny baby just wants to be held and loved and cuddled and sung to and fed and changed all the time. Or maybe baby's got colic. What are you going to do? If you have a baby carrier, you just strap that baby on. Baby's getting pretty much everything it wants. I mean, you can nurse in the carrier, you can dance in the carrier, you can sing in the carrier, but you still get your arms. Baby wearing is the world's oldest technology for a good reason, okay? A stroller is not as flexible. Before I bought my first baby carrier, I tried taking my newborn daughter, Noelle, back in 2011 to the gym in the stroller. So she could be in the stroller taking a nap and I could run on the treadmill. That never worked. She would wake up three minutes in and scream, bloody murder, bloody murder. So, I mean, I'm not saying I go for a run while I'm baby wearing, but I'm able to multitask more effectively, I would say for sure. Point goes to the baby carrier. Boom. Category number four, bathroom breaks in public. Oh joy, if you don't have your baby yet, boy, is this going to be a rude awakening. Sometimes you're out and about and you are on a walk and you know, you just go a little too far, you're out a little too long and it's not the baby who has to go, you have to go. You have to go to the bathroom. What are you going to do? You go into the bathroom and you've got this baby strapped to you and there's nowhere to put it. 
you're in big trouble. Now, if baby was in a stroller, you could pull down the hood, spin the stroller around, and you got yourself a little bit of privacy. I'd call that a win-win situation. I much prefer that. So the point for category number four is going to go to the stroller. Number five. Grocery store shopping. The real problem is when I have to walk home with my groceries. So carrying my groceries in bags is not a terrible thing. But, you know, I mean, if you're just really not into it or it's a really hot day, you bring a stroller, you can just stow your groceries away and boom, you're ready to go. No problem. I think in terms of carrying groceries, I would much, much, much rather have my stroller with me than not. Just because five gallons, five liters of milk, it's heavy. Point number five goes to the stroller. Number six, managing your toddler and your baby at the same time. So when you're out and about in public and you have two small children, you need to keep tabs on both of them. And I find if you're wearing one, it's a lot easier to move quickly and grab the hand of a wayward toddler. So in that way, baby wearing has a huge advantage. You've got lots of flexibility and you don't really have to worry about leaving your stroller, which might have your valuables in it. You don't want it to get stolen to cut your toddler, like you're, you're golden. Now on the other hand, if you have a stroller, maybe it's a double stroller, maybe it converts into a double stroller, so you can strap those suckers down. But in my opinion, the point of going out and about with your kids is to get them some exercise because, let's be honest, we all want to sleep at night. And if you don't exercise your kids, then they think it's like a party every night. And they dance and they torture you by jumping on you and stuff. I'm going to tie that one up. Point goes to stroller and point goes to the baby carrier for category six. Category seven. Huh. Fashion statement. No points for that last category. Thank you everyone for hanging in there. I have to say it is a very close competition between strollers and baby carrying. I think there's a place for both of them in your life as a new parent. Um, don't forget to like, watch, and support my channel if you'd like to see more baby comparison related content. Um, if you have any questions, any ideas, any concerns, I know baby wearing is a very polarizing topic for some people and I would love to hear what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for your time, have yourself a wonderful day, and uh, check back again real soon. Bye now.